Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? Well, my name is Lucia and for whoever is new to my channel, I am an energy coach, expert in manifestation and feminine energy as well. And today I want to talk about five key points, five things to do to attract your soulmate. And this is so important because sometimes we want to attract our soulmate, our life partners, but honestly, there is so much information and we don't know how to do it, how to manifest it. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, if you see me looking down, it's because I have my notes here. I don't want to forget anything. So let's start. First thing, be clear in what is what you want. And this is super important because oftentimes we will focus on what we don't want instead of what we really want. And actually how the universe works is you have to tell the universe what is what you want, not what you don't want. So um, make a list of like, I will call it love list. So it's a list of qualities, of values. What do you want your partner to have in his personality? Um, you can even write down like, how can you feel? Like, how do you want to feel when you are with this person? And this is super, super important. I cannot stress enough about this because if you start saying, no, this is what I don't want and I don't want and I don't want, actually the universe is kind of gonna bring you what you don't want because universe doesn't know about a positive and negative. So you have to focus and be super, super crystal clear what is what you want envision it, imagine it, feel it, feel it in your heart. Make the list, as I said, and focus in being that, but also you have to be that. So you have to be the reciprocate of what you are asking for. Because if you are asking for someone who is, I would say, a provider, for example, you need to be able to receive. You cannot ask for a provider and then you want to also provide it doesn't make any sense. So also you want someone who is positive, but you are super negative, or you want someone who is smart and intelligent, but you are not like intellectual yourself. So you see how it doesn't really match. So be clear, make the list that I will call love list, focus in that, feel, Feel it in your heart. How will you feel when you are with this person? How will this person make you feel? Like I would suppose you'll feel safe, you'll feel loved, you feel adored, and be a reciprocate of that. Very, very, super, super important. Um, second thing would be to decide that you are worth of having it. And sometimes we will want something, but we will not decide. So you need to decide, this is what I want. I'm super ready to have a relationship and your body, your mind, your soul, your heart needs to align. So all parts of yourself have to align with what you want. Everything has to be on board because if you want something and you are trying to manifest, in this case, a partner, but one of the parts in your body, for, for example, I would say your mind doesn't align, there is no way you can have it. So everything has to align because otherwise you will sabotage yourself. You will not even notice because this is the thing, like the subconscious mind, we don't notice when we sabotage, but we do sabotage and it's so subtle, but it's what is stopping us sometimes from having what we want. So be deciding exactly that you want it, that you are ready, that you are safe and that you are worth it. So as you see, it's very important to feel safe while manifesting. And for feeling safe, everything has to be aligned. Your inner soul, your heart, your body, everything has to align, everything has to be on board. So there is no, how can I say, duplicity in you so you can manifest it easily. Third thing would be uh, remove all blockages and limitis, limiting beliefs about what you are trying to manifest. How do you do this? Inner work, 
inner work that's it you have to do your inner work and i know oftentimes we don't want to put the work in because it takes time to do the inner work but trust me you have to do it otherwise it's gonna you are not gonna manifest it or you will manifest it but don't keep it or you'll manifest something that is similar but it's not quite what you want so how do you do your inner work very important but i'm telling you uh, i cannot tell in one video because i don't want to say it's long but each person is super different so i'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching and i'm super happy because i have my website now and you can book a discovery call with me to see if we are a match so the best way for me to explain how to do your inner work is to actually like me being coaching you otherwise in a in a video i cannot really say because each person is so different so guys uh check out my website anyway i will talk about it more later on so fourth thing embody your feminine energy what do i mean by this so you throw it into the universe what you want what you want to manifest you are aligned you are clear you are decided like you feel worth it you're ready it's done but how do you do it then so you throw it in the universe and then you surrender you let it flow you lean back and relax and trust 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 so important to trust that it's coming it's yours already i mean come on of course it's yours otherwise it couldn't be a desire of yours because for example i don't decide to be i don't know a singer so if i decide something if i decide with my heart something it's because it's already mine otherwise god wouldn't have put it in my heart right so yeah you have to lean back you have to surrender relax be patient and enjoy your life in the meantime enjoy your life in the meantime be happy about your life enjoy because at the end of the day like you have to follow a journey when when you get what you want you'll feel like wow it was awesome i have what i want and actually i had fun on the way of having it right so this is the best way because if you are miserable in the meantime most cases like i would say you will not get it or even if you get it it's gonna be a little bit like mm -mm, i wouldn't want it i don't know it just feels weird right so embody your feminine lean back relax trust in the universe surrender super super important guys surrender five five and last thing live in the end so stop entertaining your reality and live in the wish fulfilled what does it mean exactly uh if you start focusing in what is not working in your life like your reality like for example so you want a partner and you want a partner you align blah 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 you throw it in the universe but then you are always checking oh but it's not coming oh but it's not coming but it's not here but what is going on what's happening what's happening you are entertaining your reality but you are not entertaining your inner dream so this wouldn't work so you have to entertain more your dream than your reality so when your dream becomes your reality your reality will align does it make sense to you i don't know if i'm expressing myself right but you have to entertain your dream more than your reality so your reality will become your dream and everything will be like perfect and you'll get what you want and this is how it is and sometimes i know even in myself it's not as easy as but it's a practice it's a practice it's an embodiment and every time you'll get better and better and better at it and one day it's gonna be so like you will not even know what is reality and what is not because you'll be in your wishful field you'll feel happy all the time you'll feel loved even if you don't have a partner so when you feel loved cherished and adored even if you don't have your partner is when you have your partner <laughs> and you manifest it so yes this is all my tricks and as i said before i'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching 
I have my new website, which I will link in the description box. My email is also there. You can book a discovery call, which is 15 minutes call with me. And we can see where I'm at. If we can work together, I would love to go to, but we have to be a match. Otherwise, I don't take clients that are not aligned with my beliefs, my values. And I think this is the best way because otherwise I cannot be like a good coach for you. So if you are interested, link in the description box and talk to you soon. Bye.